let's try this again hi guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new then welcome today i'm doing a fall i guess type haul I don't know why I said I guess. It's a fall haul. Um, I purchased stuff from H&M and Forever 21 and I thought I would share all with you guys. I know it's a little bit early, but um, where I live, I live in Boston. It's definitely starting to get a little bit cooler. Summer's been kind of all over the place with weather, but I can tell it's transitioning into fall. So I figured it'd be a perfect time to show you everything. I will have everything linked down below along with sizing and all of that type of stuff. This is of course a try on haul so you can see how it looks on me. I will also have all of my personal sizing information down below just in case you are actually going to purchase something. Hopefully that will help you guys out a little bit. I talk with my hands a lot as we all know. So let's, um, let's just jump right in. So I'm gonna start out with H&M. The majority of the stuff I got is from Forever 21. So. I only got three things from H&M. I'll get those done and then I'll move to Forever 21. So first thing we have is this beige sweater vest. You have the um, like kind of trimming at the top on the sleeves and the same one at the bottom. It's definitely a very boxy fit, but the material is super nice. It's a nice thick knit material and I like that you can't really see through the holes. I mean, you can a tiny, tiny bit, but the holes are fine enough that um, it's not like super see-through. When I tried it on with just a bra, you couldn't see it, which I really like. I think that this would look very nice, um, like on top of like a white long sleeve or something like layered underneath it. You could also, of course, wear this on its own, but I think that because it's a boxy fit, when you wear something tight underneath, I think it's just a really nice contrast. So I think that this is just a good staple. I feel like I'll have this for a long time. I'm not huge on sweater vests, but I think that if it's something like this, I can get behind it. So I'm excited to add this to my collection. Next up, I have a giant, giant turtleneck. This is a sagey kind of green color, um, and it's a very soft knit material. Again, not see-through at all. I will say this is like very, very oversized. You can see it next to me. I'm pretty small, but this is just like really, really big. I even would say that like if you size up a couple sizes, you could definitely wear this as like a sweater dress. I didn't do that because I didn't know just how big it would be. So I am gonna keep it because I love the color and I don't mind having things like really big and baggy on me, but just like be aware of that. I think you can like never really go wrong with like a good turtleneck. And I think that if you layered even like some layer, um, what am I saying? Leather leggings underneath here, you kind of tucked it up a little bit. You could make this look just like super chic and cute. Some days you just wanna wear like a big baggy sweater. So I think on those days, this is also perfect. Also, I usually film hauls in a completely different way. I usually like sit down and show everything. But I got this clothing rack and I figured that maybe this would be a nicer format. So let me know what you guys like better down below just so I know for future videos. But anyway, the last thing I got from H&M is this whitish cream corduroy top. I hope the lighting isn't washing it out. It's definitely a little bit of an off-white. It's very boxy. Again, I don't know why I had a trend with getting boxy things from H&M. But I wore this actually yesterday just to like try it on with the jeans that I'm wearing. And it looked really, really good because it kind of like, again, boxes out down here. And so having the tight jeans like underneath was a super nice contrast and I, I thought it looked really cute. I also like just like the detailing on here. So you have like the button on the sleeve and then the same buttons going down on the front. I like the buttons because they're like the fabric type buttons. So they match with the shirt. They kind of like blend right in. And I just think that, again, I'm gonna say this about so many things in this video, I'm giving you a warning, but I think that this is a really good staple. You could wear it open or clothes and just like do a lot with it a good layering piece all right starting with forever 21 starting on kind of a boring one but i know myself and i know i'm gonna end up wearing this absolutely all of the time this is a kind of like crew neck sweatshirt it's a rusty orangey color and it has the collar at the top which kind of sets it apart from other sweatshirts you also have the deep v in the front and then the sleeves are nice and big and baggy it's kind of hits right where your jeans hit so not really cropped um, but not like a super long sweatshirt either. I will say I did get this in a medium So I definitely sized up because I wanted it to be like not super cropped So I can't say how it would be if you got like your normal size. It probably would be a little bit shorter Sorry, there's like trucks and stuff outside my apartment. Hopefully you can't hear that But yeah, I know this is like not super fun But I feel like this is just like comfy to throw on throw on a pair of leggings and some sneakers and if it's like cold where you live then a jacket and um you're kind of good to go for just like running errands or something like that. Next, I have this sweater. Um, it's actually a short sleeve sweater, which I don't think I have any of, but I just really like this for some reason. You have the three buttons right there in the front. I know that having the buttons going down is very popular, 
Um, but I actually liked that it didn't go all the way down. I find that like when it goes all the way down, you button it up. I always can end up seeing my bra no matter like what I wear with it. So I liked that this one was just like a little bit different. The material is also super, super nice. It's this thick, um, almost like mocha colored material and it has the ribbing going all the way through it. I think that this shirt does not look like it's from Forever 21. Nothing against Forever 21. Clearly I like them. I shop there all the time, but I think sometimes you just have to be a little careful with the quality. But with this piece, I think that it does not look like it's from Forever 21 in like the nicest way possible. So I really like this piece. Again, I do live where it's cold, so come, you know, the dead of winter, I won't be able to wear this. But for right now, for kind of like that transitional period, this is like perfect for summer to fall. Another piece I will definitely not be able to... Oh my god, these trucks are so loud. I have to wait a minute, it's gonna be too loud. Okay, I think the truck is gone. So moving on, I would think I was saying that this is also a piece I won't be able to wear when it's super cold in the winter, of course. But for right now, for the transitional period, this is perfect. This is actually the only piece that I've already worn since getting all these clothes. Everything else I was trying to wear until I showed you guys. This one is just like a beigey tank top. You guys know I love my neutrals. It's a really nice like knit material. Again, with Forever 21, this quality of this one is super, super nice. The straps are nice and thick, so I think that the thickness of them makes it look even more like luxurious, as dumb as that sounds. And then you have the kind of like fake underwire or lining right underneath, like where your boobs would be, but there's actually no wire in there, so it makes it super comfortable. I wore this as just like a strapless bra and a pair of shorts because it was still really hot out and it looked really cute. So I love this one, super cute. Then I have a pair of pants that I picked up. Now, if you know me, <clears throat> hello. Now, if you know me, I typically don't wear like colored pants. There's a fuzz on here. Oh, there's a bunch of fuzzes on here. But when I saw these, I don't know why, I just really like them. They are like a utility pant. So you have the two pockets in the front with the button and then the two pockets in the back. I'm like losing my voice, I'm sorry. And then on the side, you have like that little strap. I don't know what that's called, but it's there. But I think that's what makes it like a utility pant. And then also at the bottom, um, you kind of have like a raw hem, which I think is just a cute little touch. These fit me absolutely perfectly. I got an extra small. They fit me really nicely around like the waist and my butt. It makes it look very flattering. I think they're flattering on the butt, but then they kind of like flare out and they're more of a wide leg. So I think having like the tight up top and then the loose at the bottom just is a really nice look. And I think that you could wear this with a lot of stuff. I'm excited to style these and see how I actually end up wearing these. So I am actually doing like a lookbook soon for fall. So stay tuned for that and you can see how I'm styling these. Another piece that I am seriously obsessed with is this shacket. I know shackets were super big last year. I think they are going to be very big this year again, but I actually don't have one surprisingly enough. I always loved them, but I just like never got one. This one is a like cream color. You have the blacks, the browns, and then the background being cream. I think that plaid can be in my personal opinion, can be a little like much if it's not done correctly, but I think this one is just so nice because it is like a neutral, but you still have, of course, like the design of the plaid. I just think it looks really nice. You have the silver buttons going down the front and on the two pockets. These are just snap buttons. And then you have, of course, the collar at the top. This is definitely a actual like thicker material, which I think it won't keep you warm when it's like super cold out, but um, I can see myself wearing this when it gets decently cold out. I'm doing a terrible job explaining this. It's not a giant winter coat, but it can keep you warm, I think. It's a nice thick material. It even has like the lining kind of, if I can open this, on the inside. So I think that this is just a good one to have. And again, because it's neutral, I think that you can pair this with a lot of different colors, a lot of different things underneath, and you can really dress it up or dress it down. Next up, we have this crop top. It's very, very cropped. I actually wasn't expecting it to be so, so cropped, but it is, and I still like it. I think the color is really nice, and I like like the twisty thing, so let me actually show you what it is. It is this like rusty brown colored top. It has a twist in the front, and then it has long sleeves. Again, it is very, very cropped, so just keep that in mind. On the sleeves, you actually have like a slit on each one, which is just like a cute little touch. And then to make it easier to get on and off, you actually have a zipper on the side, and it's a zipper that goes from bottom to top, which makes it really easy if you're putting this on and you don't have anyone surround you you don't need someone to like help you with the zipper this would be really nice for a date night that's kind of what i'm thinking i would use this for so i think it's just a nice top to add 
to my collection. I say that about everything. Next up, we have a short sleeve. This is definitely more of like a summer top. I'm gonna be honest, but I just liked it and I wanted it. It looks like a plain black t-shirt in the front and then you turn it around and it's a completely open back with two straps that you can tie. If you guys watch my channel, you know I love a good open back like really washed out so when i saw this i just like couldn't pass it up i also love my neutrals as you can tell by my outfit right now i will say this one is definitely one of their like cheaper kind of tops you can see it's see-through right there i wore what was i wearing underneath it i think i was just wearing like oh like a sticky bra type thing because the back is open and i don't think you could see it but i've yet to um edit the try on portion so i have to see but just keep that in mind if that's something that would bother you then i would pass on this one but otherwise it is super cute and even would look good for like a little picture or something then we have this long sleeve top i love green i think green is just like a really nice color especially on people with like darker hair so in this one you have i don't know what this is called like the fake underwire type looking thing i don't know what it's called um i'm really bad with this type of stuff but you have that and then you kind of have like the pleating across the front and then you have this tie that you can tie I will say it doesn't actually like do anything in terms of like tightening the shirt or adjusting it at all It's just for looks, but then you have the long sleeves They're kind of like puffy almost like pirate type sleeves and they cinch in at the bottom You could probably wear this off the shoulder in the try on I'm wearing it like on my shoulders because that's how I personally would wear it But I think you could definitely pull this off and wear it off the shoulder It's kind of up to you on the back You do have the like ruching material which makes it very comfortable and just like stretchy and I feel like it could fit a lot of different people. So I'm excited to have this. Um, again, I'm saying this about so many things, but you could wear this in so many different ways. You could throw in a pair of leather pants, throw in a pair of jeans, boots, whatever you really want, and you can kind of do a lot with this. Another thing that you can do so, so much with is this black satin skirt. It's gonna be kind of hard for me to show you, but you'll see in the try-on. This is a black satin like midi skirt. You have the zipper in the back and the little clasp at the top. I don't think I even clasped it. No, I didn't, but you do have the clasp, which, you know, hold it together a little bit more and then like I said it is a midi length on the left side of your leg you do have a slit that goes pretty high up it kind of goes to like your mid thigh area I personally like this skirt because of the slit I don't think I'd like it so much if the slit weren't there just because otherwise I do think it can be like I don't know not boring it's good to have like a basic but I think the slit just adds a lot to it this was super super affordable too and the material is like really really nice I think you could do so much with this you throw on like a sweater and kind of tuck it up and almost crop the sweater you could wear that with this um, you could wear this with just like a crop top if it's in the summer and you want to like wear a tank or something with it for nighttime you could do that I think that this is just a good staple to have and I feel like I'll have this for like years and years and years to come one thing I am like kind of on the fence about I don't really know what it thinking when I got this I'll be honest I know two-piece sets are like everywhere now and they've been everywhere for a while I actually don't think I have any two-piece sets that aren't like workout sets I always like think I'm gonna love them and wear them and then I never end up wearing them so I just like really don't buy them anymore so it's weird that I bought this like bright kind of I'm not super bright like muted lime-ish um this color like pastel green almost but yeah I don't know it's cute it's very cute don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with like the pieces I just don't know what I was thinking but it's this very soft almost like fuzzy material it's super soft let me say very very soft and comfortable when I was trying this on I was like oh it's pretty nice but it's a short sleeve top and then again you twist it around we have an open back and you can tie at the bottom the skirt that it came with is this one it's just like a super mini bodycon skirt um, and you have a super small slit on the left side as well i will say that this is very very short i mean i do have like a butt not a giant butt but so maybe if you didn't have as much of a butt it wouldn't be a short just keep that in mind um they do sell the pieces like together it's not separately so if you needed like different sizes in each piece like a medium on the shirt and a small on the bottom or whatever that would be you know kind of difficult overall super cute and the material is super nice that's probably my favorite thing about this we're almost done i swear i know this is a lot but next we have this sweater you have the three buttons going down in the front they are like a i don't know what type of like 
button that is but it's like almost like a shiny creamy button and then you have the collar at the top i think that's what kind of sold me on this just a little different not just like a plain cardigan and then it's just long sleeve of course this one is definitely cropped so if you're not into that i would pass on this one but it's very very soft the material is really nice again this doesn't seem like a typical like forever 21 item i feel like i'm saying that a lot so maybe they've just like stepped up their quality i don't know but i really like this one and i think that i'll get a lot of wear out of this i feel like this is just like a classic piece that um, you can wear like over and over and over again and it's kind of like you put it on you don't have to think about it you don't have to think about what bra you're gonna wear like any of that so I'm excited to have this and it's just like really soft and cozy all right two more the next one is kind of another shacket type um shirt jacket thing i guess that's why they call it a shacket dove but it's more of a like, cream and like pinky orange type um pattern there are pockets on both sides and then buttons down the front these buttons you actually like put through the little like button hole it's not like the snap one then on the sleeves you have the same thing button at the bottom and then if you turn it around on the bottom of the back you have like the super stretchy like almost band which just makes it super comfortable you could definitely wear this open or closed personally i probably would wear it more open like layering stuff underneath just because otherwise i feel like it could really like make you lose your shape which is fine it's just not typically something i like but i think that this is super cute and i feel like now that i have both of these i'm like upset i don't need any more shackets no one let me get any more. All right, then last up, we have this short sleeve. This is kind of a weird one to end on for like a fall haul. It's not very fall-ish, although I guess it could be. It's up to you, however you want to interpret this. But this is kind of like a silky, meshy type top. You have kind of like the look of cups on both sides. And then this, um, what is this called? Like ruching down the front. There's a pretty big puffy sleeve that's a little bit more like see-through and mesh. And it's very like big and puffy, like I said, which I just think is super cute. It's a nice little detail. You also have the ruching going down the back. And then similar to this long sleeve orange shirt, um, you have a zipper on the left side that goes from bottom to top so that you can zip it up and you don't need anyone's help. And that is actually everything that I have. I hope that this video wasn't too, too long. I know I had a lot of stuff I wanted to show you guys, but I hope that you enjoyed. Again, like I said, I am going to be doing a like fall lookbook type video coming up very soon. I'm sure a lot of these pieces will be in there. So if you're interested in seeing that, then I would love for you to subscribe and stay tuned for that. But I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.